What up Pro Guides family? I'm Matt and in today's video we're going to be giving you a rundown of everything you need to know about the newly released patch 12.60 in Fortnite. Yeah that's right, after weeks and weeks of waiting for a new Fortnite patch, one has finally been released and I'm here to break down all of the new changes, additions, file leaks and well, yeah no basically everything to be honest. So sit down, grab your favourite snack and enjoy the video. First of all, let's take a brief look at the official patch notes that Epic Games sent out to all of the online content creators. These patch notes gave us a brief overview of some of the updates that have been added in this new patch. First of all, there's the new Spy Games Limited Time Mode. This is Operation Infiltration. In this mode, you have to seek out an intel case on the defending team's turf and try to capture it, all the while your own team is going to be trying to defend your own intel case. It's basically a spy themed fort like capture the flag game mode. If you're an iOS player, that means anyone on iPhones, iPods or iPads, a new feature has been added that is going to help keep your game at a silky smooth 60 frames per second. This feature is going to change your game's resolution automatically to help keep you at a targeted frame rate. We've got no idea if this is going to come to Android, but we'll keep you updated if it does. There are also some changes to Party Royale that have launched today. It's nothing major, it's just the addition of the grappler and the jetpack to the game mode. Epic have also said that they've made some refinements refinements to several of the attractions on the Party Royale Island, but they didn't actually go into how major those changes were or what attractions they changed, so we're just going to have to wait and see what those turn out to be. Epic also made sure to remind us to finish up our challenges for this season's Battle Pass characters. They said that once the season ends we won't be able to pick Ghost and Shadow variants for our characters anymore and that we should also lock in our looks for Maya as well. Interestingly, Epic have also cast their view forward to next week. This means that we're probably going to get another patch 7 days from now. In this creator briefing, they talked about further tweaking, tuning and investigation for controller and mouse and keyboard crossplay. They do have some changes ready to go live, but they don't want to rock the boat right before the FNCS Invitational Finals. As with any Fortnite update, data miners have been able to discover a whole host of new cosmetics that have been added to the Fortnite game files. The Renegade Shadow, the Shimmer Specialist and this new skin without a name have all been added to the files, meaning we'll probably see them in the shop soon. There was also a new ID for a Nintendo Switch exclusive skin, though we haven't got any actual visuals for that one, so it's probably still a ways off in development. There are four new backblings, Ravenpool's Cage, Cuddlepool's Bow, the Blast Radius and a strange new legendary item that doesn't have a name yet. There's one new glider and one new harvesting tool, that's the Shadow Stalker and the Steel Shadow, alongside three new wraps, the Camo Pulse, the Spectral Flex and the Shadow Seal. Finally, there's one new loading screen which is called Storm the Agency. It's got a pretty cool description too, the winds of change are blowing, who knows what that could mean. A bunch of the older skins in the game have also been updated with some new styles. Siren, Wolf and the Last Kiss have got a noir variant, Bachi has a spy variant and the classic Recon Expert skin has received a new style variant that ditches her hat. This has made some people think that the Recon Expert could be returning to the shop soon as well, which would be pretty cool because we've not seen her in the shop for over 900 days. The Slurp Squad have also been given some new styles, with all of them now being able to switch between their base form and that classic Slurp blob head. Look at it, isn't it cute? Look at that cute little blob head. If you're looking for something new to do in this update then you're in luck, because a new set of challenges called Storm the Agency have been added to the game. The first of these 5 new challenges is probably going to make the Agency an even hotter drop than it already was, because it's going to be land at the Agency. You then have to survive 10 storm circles, open locked chests at 3 different spy bases, swim over a hatch at the Agency and eliminate three henchmen at different safe houses. If you are able to complete all five of these challenges, you're going to find yourself with 120,000 XP points, the Shadow Seal Wrap, the Steel Shadow Harvesting Tool, and the Shadow Stalker Glider. A bunch of new files regarding the end of the season have also been added to the game. There's a new gift box string called S12N with the message, the agency thanks you for your hard work this season, you've come a long way agent added to it. There are also a bunch of files which relate to the new event, which has been given the code name Fritter. We're not sure what this actually means, but considering a countdown has been added, it likely involves the doomsday machine going off. The files have also revealed that the leaks about the Fortnite map being covered in water are probably true, as there are event queues called Water Exit and Water Impact in the files, alongside something called Traveller Narratives, as well as a related quest to this new Traveller character. In this update, we've also been able to see the continuation of the development of something known as the Mushroom Buddy. Epic has updated some of the files to this buddy and have added some cute new sounds. <laughs> Hiya, friend! 
though we still have no idea what this cute little mushroom critter is eventually going to be used for. In this update, we were probably all hoping for new map locations, or at the very least the addition of the new shotgun that has been leaked a little while ago, but really all that seems to have been added today, other than the cosmetics, are a bunch of back-end preparations for the end of season event. Hopefully update 12.61 next week is a little more interesting, but I wouldn't be getting your hopes up until season 3 launches. If you did like this video, then don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can stay notified whenever ProGuides posts a new video.